welcome everyone. Hey, Brian. Hey, Dave. Uh, US 30. The US 30. Okay, let's see here. Did you take this trade, Brian? I did. You did. <laughs> I did. What I'm time frame? It. What time frame are you trading it on? Um, I got in right at the break of um, resistance uh, on the sixty minutes. On the sixty, so actually, yeah, but actually. I was playing the 240 minutes. So if you go to 240, um, the 60, the 240 and 60 gave a signal kind of simultaneously. So, yeah, I'm, um, I'm Brian, you're breaking, you're breaking up a bit. Hold on, man. Clear. <laughs> You there? Okay, what about now? Oh, much better. Yeah, what about now? Much better, much better. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Okay, yeah. so go ahead. So I'm actually, to be honest with you, I'm going to exit if I get a 60-minute signal because I didn't catch that 240 signal. Okay. Uh, but okay. what it was doing, it was uh, consolidating in between a support and resistance on the 60 minutes, so I entered in when it broke resistance. Okay. On the sixty minutes. So are you still holding it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. So actually, um yeah, that's sixty minutes um got in. I got in at uh let me let me see. Right, let me hold on a second. I'll show you what exactly got in. In a second. <laughs> I got in at 31348. 31348. That's when I got in. So about hold on. Yeah. This is awesome. So 31 31348. Three forty-eight. So right about right about here, right about here. Oh, so right. you had okay. So you waited for this consolidation here, then move here. Right. I waited on that, and then right at the break of resistance, there is uh, it's when I got in. Okay. How so, does it feel? I mean, right? it didn't break resistance totally. I kind of jumped in early. Okay. Um, and I knew better, so I was holding my breath. <laughs> uh, I didn't wait till it closed above res uh, the resistance, but I got it. I just took the trade. Okay. Um, you, you know, you had a, I had a 240 signal, and that's what I was kind of really playing on. Because if you go back and look at that 240, uh, that signal was just sitting there, and um, I just waited on that kind of waited on that break of resistance right there, and just took it. And I was riding through all that consolidation right there to the right. And then it came down a little bit, and then it just it just it just took off. Is this your first big trade with? Um, is this your first big trade with uh, Monster US Thirty? No, it's not. No, 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 no. You you know I I, I stuck my neck out there just to see some things, <laughs> but <laughs> but I you know what? And uh, what you were telling me about. You know, um, wait for the buyers to come in. Mm -hmm. Wait for that one green daily candle to close, and uh, and that's what I did. I waited for that one green daily candle to close, right and here. that's where I got in. Why I got in where I got in at. Uh, had I got in any earlier, it would have been in, it would have been over there where that, that white consolidation is on the daily. So if you go to a daily chart. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. This is the two forty. Yeah. No, did you yeah. um, did you wait for the buy signal on the daily or the two forty? 
No, 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 no. On the 240. The, the, the 240 tw- already had a had a buy signal. 240 okay. and the 60 minute had a buy signal. Okay, okay. They both okay. had a buy signal, but they but they gave a buy signal in that white consolidation on the daily. So if you go to the daily. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, the reason why I'm laughing and Brian and I, <laughs> um, the, uh, this system here is our most volatile system. And um, and Brian is, it's called, it's, it's in the futures market, but it's, it's Monster US 30, it's the Dow 30, but it's, it's very, very volatile. It moves very, very fast. Uh, you can make a lot of money, but you can also lose a lot of money too if you're not. And Brian has been trading with us for almost probably a little over three years now. And, uh, you know, he, he, he started with um, uh, 4X, uh, Monster Scalper for 4X, and now he's, he's trading this. So I am, I am just, I'm excited, eager to see how he does with this system. Um, so Brian, here is this is okay. I see this is the daily time frame. No, that's not it. That hold on, hold on. That's the wrong symbol. Hold yeah, on. that's somebody else. Yeah, that's hold on. Okay. Yeah, so I actually been with you. It'll be two years. Well, actually, it's two years right now. It's not. I thought it was longer than no, two. Been, years. It's longer than two years, Brian. It's been no, man. This, I, I've been keeping track. That's it. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. All. Two years. Okay, so here it is on the daily. Right. So, so you, you see that price. consolidation, that it, those white candles? Right here. So it actually gave, yeah. So it actually gave a buy signal on the 240 and the 60 right in those white candles. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, and then it broke with that big green long first daily candle. I, so I just waited on that one to close. Right here. Okay. Yeah, waited on that one to close, and that put me right there at thirty-one, three forty-eight, somewhere like that. Oh, okay. So I. Oh, okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so when I took that trade, I had to deal with that little consolidation right there, where you got your yellow marker on the sixty-minute, where it says thirty-one, three forty-five. I had to deal with all that consolidation there, and then it took off. Oh, okay. And you were still in it? Okay. I'm still in it, man. I, and I, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I'm going to exit on the 60 because I got in on the 60. Uh, the 240 didn't really give me a place to enter in at. Uh-huh. So I got in on the 60. And so I'm I'm hoping... That if you go back to the daily chart, I'm hoping that it makes, uh, if it goes to 32,500, you go back to the daily chart there. Thirty-two five right hundred. Yeah, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know that's that's a lot of lot of orders are going on right there. If you you might you get that, you might get more left. than you you might get more than that, Brian. Um, thirty-two five. You think so? I think so. Um, Thirty-two five hundred is right here. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You've got some. You know, you got sellers sitting here. You. Yeah. I mean, you've got sellers yeah. sitting here. But I think, based on the price action this week, um, I mean, keep it on the keep it on the sixty, right? Keep it on the sixty. But I would let right. it. I wouldn't be quick to get out. All right, you could get a big push, right? You could get a big push, you know. Um, that's that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, I mean, that's you have some. Yeah, you have some sellers sitting in this area here, around thirty two five hundred, right here. But you could get, you right. could get, you could get, you could. It could go higher, right? It could yeah. go higher. Um, you could. And you I could, even looked. I even looked at the weekly too, man. I I just. I just saw it stopping there. Usually when I see, you know, something stopping right there, I looked at the weekly, it's about about the same spot uh, in a couple of places. And what, so, what, what you can do is this, right? Um, 
because it, it's very volatile. You know, it moves fast, right? Um, and yeah. you, don't, you don't want to give back any profits. So what you could do um, is do this. Keep your 60 and bring in a 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah I've been so, watching that too. Yeah. yeah. So bring in a yep. 60. I would bring in a 60 here for now. Okay. Just for this trade and then bring in a 30, mm -hmm. bring in a 30 here. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and then just, just manage it on both yeah. for your exit, for yeah. your exit. Yeah. 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 I really think it's going to uh, break that resistance right there on the 30 and the 60. I think it's going to break that if you go up. Right yeah, here. I think it's going to break that. Yeah, there's nothing in the way. There's mm -hmm. nothing in the way if you look left. Yeah. Yeah, so you're I good think it'll here. break that. And, and that will put you, what, where will that put you if it breaks that, res, if it breaks that resistance? 32,500. 32, oh, okay. So yeah, you could go much higher than that. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. And let's see what it's doing in the futures market, right? It's up, right? The Dow is up mm -hmm. in the futures market. Yeah. Okay, so try to let it run as far as possible. You will do- Yeah, I will, man. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. Hey, I ain't gonna be too far from the computer tomorrow. <laughs> Cause literally, bro. I mean, like, literally, man. I mean, you turn your back on this thing, and it is, it's giving you a sell signal, bro. Like, I'm like unbelievable. Hey, Brian, I would like to see Gerald. Gerald is on here. Gerald L. Bill is on here. I would like. I think. I think you guys at some point. You know, probably six months from now, right? You, I think you guys will be ready for, um, for Monster US Thirty, Bill and Gerald. All right, um, uh, you have to be very disciplined to trade this, Brian. Here, tell them a little bit about about Monster US Thirty and and trading the US Thirty. Tell them a, a little bit about um, your journey trading this. Because you came a long way to be able to trade this. And, yeah, and the, the type yeah. Of potential. I mean, if you go back to when I first started, man, I mean, I tried to trade this thing butt naked and um, <laughs> not really knowing what the heck I was doing. OK, um, but I, I can tell you what really helped me along the way, not just with US3, but with 4X is the the um, the four phases of the market. Um, that, that little Wyckoff, Wyckoff method there. That really helped me. I mean, you can really, when you understand that method. And you guys, can what he's see, referring to, what he's referring to the four market phases, the four market phases. Uh, go ahead, Brian. Right, so. right, right. The four market phases. And so, um, obviously, if you go back to the daily, that daily consolidation there, uh, if you go back, Yeah, so if you go down to the right there. Right here, Brian? Yeah, right in there. All that consolidation right there. So it gave, you know me, David, I've been reading a lot on that on that book you gave me that um, about the Wyckoff Method. And, you know, it, 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 so it, it's about reading the context of um, the charts, pretty much. And, um, you know, you can see there where it, it uh, gave a selling climax. It, it came back and gave you your resistance. Which, which now it, it went right into your consolidation. So it, it was at a point where if the buyers were going to come in, then it's already, you know, you got your, your A, B, C, D, E phases with all that stuff. But um, not to really talk over anybody's head, but once it gave that green candle, you know, it, 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 you got to take action. Um, so for me, it's just kind of seeing if this US 30 kind of really coincides with those laws of the four phases of the market, that's kind of what I've been watching. That's why I haven't been so aggressive right now uh, with it, because just seeing how, seeing if it 
pays attention to those laws of, uh, you know, distribution and accumulation and markup and mark all those just the basic things, and and it does, but it's just so fast and volatile, like you said, that it can throw you off. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, my journey, guys, has been a, has been has been a lot of reading. You know, I you know, John David, I read the trend following book from cover to cover. I've read the uh, Trading in the Zone book from cover to cover. I've read the, uh, well, I'm actually just, actually really just studying this book, but it's the Wyckoff Methodology in Depth, which is the fourth phase of the market. And so that, you know, just reading those three books helped out a lot. And uh, even though I'm out on these calls a lot, I do listen to the recordings, um, you know, to stay on top of things as much as I can. And Ryan, you know, you I, I take trades. I didn't do it. I'm sorry. Are you a full time? No, I'm not. No, I'm I, no, I'm not a full time. I mean, I'm you know, quasi. I'm retired, but um, um, you know, I do, I do, you know, I do insurance as well. But the, no, I'm not. I'm not full time. Like just sitting in front of a computer and doing that stuff. No. So I heard I'm you not. say that you won't go far from the computer when you take a trade like this. You stay pretty close. <laughs> Well, I'm just joking, man. No, I mean, I, I got like, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm watching it. Cause you know, I use my, um, uh, what you call it? The, um, um, um the alerts, what is right? it? The, the, the any desk, the any desk. So okay. I, you know, I have my any desk on. So we're pretty much where I'm at with my, with my phone, you know, I'm kind of watching it every now and then. And, you know, I get the signals just like everybody else. You know, if there's a 30 minute sale, 60 minute sale, you know, you get the signals and um, you really with this thing, you really have to get out. If it says get out, get out, don't get out. Don't be hoping and waiting that it's going to come back with this U.S. 30 if it says get out. You got to get out. Got to take your loss if you take your losses. Yeah, um, guys, this is where Ricky, um, you guys, if you hear Ricky's story. This is where he made $120,000 in one day, right? He did it with the US 30, all right? Um, and he did it on a smaller time frame. If, if Brian is able to, and I'm so, you know, I was so excited when Brian finally said he was ready. And he's been working towards getting, getting here to be able to trade the US 30, all right? Um, and he's trading it on a on a longer time frame, on a sixty minute time frame. You guys don't realize this is it. It goes fast. There's a lot of money you can make here, a lot of money. But like he said, it's fast. You gotta you gotta really watch it, right? But if he's, I'm I'm so excited for Brian because if he's able to, and he he has a trade going here, if he's able to um, master this market right the us 30 it's 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 its own thing you trade it by itself when ricky traded that's all he trade just the us 30 all right it's a game changer all right it really is it really is and you know he hasn't brian like you said he's not putting a lot of capital right now to it um but at some point he will and it's just it's just it's just you know it, you 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 the the money is insane let's put it that way david okay. it's a standalone yeah. system how was that it's a standalone system yes it's a standalone system yes okay. yes it's a standalone system yeah and it, you can't trade when you trade it you really have to trade it by itself yeah it's that it, it's yeah. that it takes that much focus right right brian yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. And you know what? With, with all of this movement that's been doing, David, there hasn't been a lot of volume uh, to push this market. Like it's, you know, the, the the buyer sentiment has been really low. It's going down now, like you showed with the with the VIX. But for a minute there, you know, even up to this week, it hadn't been a lot of volume coming in. This mm -hmm. thing, this is light movement compared light to light movement. Yes. This is really, really light movement. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm enjoying this part. Yeah. It's really light movement, bro. 
but it moves, it moves, doesn't it, Brian? It moves. So like what Ricky does, he smoke trades on those smaller mm-hmm. time frames, you know, uh, <clears throat> or what he did, he was trading on the smaller time frames. Now that night, obviously, you know, you had the market crash that night yes. when he did that 120. That was during COVID. <laughs> yeah, during COVID. Uh, but but today, well, I ain't gonna say today, but you know, after COVID, he was only trading 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And he would be done for the day. Because, you know, one good long bar, you know, you'd be depending on what your lot size is, five, six, seven thousand dollars. Easy. Yep. You know, depending on what your lot size is in ten minutes. So my lot size is my lot size is, is is micro, like David said. Right now, it's micro because like I haven't even seen the real fast movements yet. So uh, still learning, still working with it, and uh, I'm excited and um, just looking forward to some great things with it. Yeah, and um, so guys, this is the progression, right? So the idea is right. We start with with forex. You know, Ricky did the same thing. He started with forex. He started with uh, uh, just a, a few pairs. He started trading. You guys know his story: two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, and then he built, and then he got to where he's trading this. And Brian, Brian, same thing, right? So um, your goal, and I, I think, I think Bill, I think you're close. I think Bill, you're very close. Um, Gerald, you you um, you're close to, all right, to trading to 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 trading this, okay. But that's the goal. If you guys can get to the point where a year from now, a year from now, with with what Brian has done with 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 Monster Scalper and what he's done with his, in a year from now, he will have mastered this, and um, it's 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 going to be amazing. Right. Once he puts real capital to work. Right. And if you look here. Yeah. If you look here, this if he would have let's say he got he got in about right here. Thirty one, thirty one, four. What is it? Thirty one, four, three. What was it, Brian? Thirty one, three fifty. Yeah, thirty one, three forty eight. Three forty eight. OK, so right about here. Right. Let's say he got in right about here and now he's just, you know, watching it right here all yeah. right it, it looks like it's going to break resistance even here that's a good trade even from here to here is a good trade okay now he's going to be more cautious right brian is very cautious. he don't like the pullbacks <laughs> he don't like those pullbacks right yeah, not not with this one <laughs> now, but you know what if if, if i would have david if i would have got in as soon as I saw the 240 signal and I didn't, if I'd have got in, I didn't take that trade, the 240 signal, because the daily was, was only in the white, the white candles. Yeah. That's right. why I didn't do it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Had I got in, then I would, I would, I would let a pullback happen with the 240. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But, but not, 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 not now. Um, uh, not going to, not going to do that now. Um, because of where I got in at. Yeah, so but yeah. I still trade Forex. And, um, you know, but I, I do this as well. So is this... And and so I'm only on a micro lot. So that little distance that where I 348 to where it's at now on that micro lot, I'm at like 600 bucks. <laughs> like 650 bucks is where I'm at I'm on, on a micro, micro lot. On a micro lot? Wow. Yeah, like 0.01. Yes. You guys hear that? <laughs> so I'm almost so today it was when it got up to like 32 190, it was like 800 bucks off a penny lot. Wow. Brian, what day did you enter the market? What what day did you get this did you take this trade on? The day? Yeah. Um mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's a good question, man. Because I'm gonna take this. This action, I, this action started on Friday. That two forty signal came in on Friday, and it came in Friday evening. Yes, and I was I like, remember. "Oh, heck no! I'm not gonna get in on a Friday." Mm-hmm. You know. So I waited 
I waited till Monday. So that following Monday, which was this Monday, this past, is when I entered the trade. So you've only been in the trade for three days. That's it. Nice. Yeah, three days. Yeah. It moves. And when, you, when you're on the right side of it, right, the right side. And the way we do it is this, right? We follow, um, you can follow the 240. I think we have it for the 240, but you can do, if you want, if you want more confirmation, you can do it on the daily, right? So we don't trade both sides at the same time. So if you, you know, if you, if, if you're doing the 240, we look for over here, right? We have 240 here, 240 here, right? We turn off, we turn off the, we turn up the shorts and we just have the long. All right. And then on the 60, we turn on the long, turn up the short. So once we have a buy signal, right? A buy signal to go long in the markup phase, we only take in long trades. And we only looking for long trades on the 60 minute or you guys, or you can do it on the 30 minute also. But we do one, one direction at a time. All right. If it goes in that markdown phase like it did here, right? We would turn off our long signals, turn on our shorts, and then turn on our shorts here to only take short trades. Okay. Right. Yeah. 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 But I am good job, right? I'm so proud of you. Right. <laughs> Um, hey, thank you, man. <laughs> oh, and you said, wow, that's, and that's, you said micro lots, and it's up that much already, huh? With that, that small move. Yeah, that's a micro lot. That's 0.01. <laughs> this thing is, and this thing is moving slow. Slow. Like it ain't even moving. It's not moving. It ain't moving, man. Those, those little bitty bars right there. That's slow. That's no volume. Yeah. This is this is volume. This is what volume. You see these bars right here is what it's it's used yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Bars, them long bars there. Yeah. These bars right here. Right. These you see these bars yeah. right here. These bars right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's. Yeah, used like to that do. long. Those long bars right there, off a penny lot, would probably be. <laughs> close to 1200 bucks <laughs> just that one bar <laughs> <laughs> yeah you see that big guys you see that big bar right here that's a 240 bar yeah right here this yeah. bar right here no kidding <laughs> yeah that one bar man it changed your life bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh crazy <laughs> I know. I know. But I am so I'm I'm yeah. I'm yeah. So Brian, you've had you've had um US thirties the system how long now? A month? A couple of months? Not, not um a month? Yeah, about about a couple of months. A couple of months. About a couple of months. Couple of months. Yeah. 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 So he's still working. And like I told it. you, I didn't I didn't trade it when I first got it because you know, I had to build some more capital up just to start this thing, man. Yeah. Who do you use as a broker? I'm with um, Hugo's way. Yeah, so you can use Hugo's way or Trader's way. Answer? Yeah, Hugo's way. I need to I need to change to that forex.com. Well, not change, but add that forex dot forex dot com to. Yeah, but I. Thanks, I'm gonna keep Brian. both of them. Thanks, Brian. I just wanted Brian to talk yeah. talk to this. We don't talk about this system a lot. Right? We don't have a lot of traders trading, trading this, all right? Um, and the ones that do, they don't come on a lot, right? They're doing their own thing. Brian doesn't come on a lot, right? Um, you, know, he's, he's, you know, he's trading and he's doing his thing. No, but once I, once I get settled, David, uh, I'm in the process of moving and stuff like that. So once I get settled, I'll be on a lot more. Okay. It's, it's always good to have you on board, you know. Um, it's great to, to yeah. traders to, to hear hear from um our traders out there so um yeah I, I send us your success stories buddy you know so when you when you make it big bry when you make it big don't forget about us right <laughs> <laughs> no man i'm i'm you know 
I, I believe in sharing with others. Um, you know, I, I think when you when you get together with a bunch of like minded people, you know, trying to do the same thing, go in the same direction, I think you can help each other out. Yeah. And so, um, you know, you're doing great stuff being on here, training everybody every week, every day. <laughs> And uh, everybody on here got like minds. And so, you know, it's a good group of people to be with. And no, man, I look forward to helping whoever I can help. And uh, because that person probably has to bring some value to the table and help me as well. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Um, Absolutely. This is, guys, uh, at some point, those of you who trade um, Forex, right? Monster Scalper right? Monster Scalper. Um, this is, this should be your goal at some point to get to here, right? We start with, we start with 4X, start with, right? Start with Monster Scalper. Um, but the goal is um, all our, the, the traders that do really, really well, like traders, like I said, like Ricky, uh, like Brian is doing right now. Eventually you want to get to this system right here. All right. Hey, take, Brian, take hey, some Brian, if you don't, if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, network with you offline. Uh, I dropped my name and number in the chat. I'd like to talk to you offline if you don't mind. Did you catch that? Hey, Brian, did you get that? Did he leave? Hey, Brian? Gerald, I'll, I'll get it. To, hey, Brian? Yeah, I was on mute. I was oh, on okay. mute. Yeah, Gerald put his name and number there. To, to uh to kind of network with you okay it's in the chat okay okay gerald uh, gerald lewis yeah yeah, yeah thank gerald, you man yeah. i appreciate that yeah i like to network with you offline man if you don't mind i certainly like to pick your brain okay all right um let's so see how to should, do this yeah you should see there okay i got you all right you got it i'll give you a call thank you man i appreciate yeah. it bro and, and Gerald, okay. um, Brian, uh, Gerald has been trading with us for a while. Um, got some good good habits, right? So uh, I, I could see Gerald, uh, Gerald, you know, Bill, Zaire, you know, those of you guys who have been trading Forex for a while. Mary, down the road, Mary, you're not ready yet. <laughs> down the road. All right. I was um, going to ask, why did you forget me? <laughs> <laughs> down the road, down the road, down the road. All right. But that's the goal, right? That's the goal, right? That's the goal. With everything we do, we start small, right? We start small and we grow and we grow and we grow with the systems, right? So that you are able to do more, make more money. All right. Um, it's an amazing, the US 30 and there are other, other, um, 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 tools out there you can trade that will give us a lot of volatility, right? But we have to, we have to, you know, one step at a time, one step at a time. But um, listen to Brian, right? Right, listen to Brian, right? And um, kind of do what he's done, right? It didn't take, it didn't happen overnight, right? He said, two, I thought it was longer, but he said two years with us, right? Um, but when he started, he couldn't trade this, right? And he's wanted to trade this for a while, uh, right? Right. He's wanted to trade yeah. this for a while. I, I think he's he wanted to trade this <laughs> years ago when when um, Ricky came into the office and and mentioned what he was what he was that he was trading this. And Brian, I remember Brian almost fell off his chair when when he, we, you know, Ricky talked about how much money he made with this. And and look here. And he he's in this market now, and he's trading this. And when 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 I remember, we've got, we've got a video online. Brian was like, "What? You made that kind of money trading what? You remember, Brian? I remember, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And look at him now; he's trading it. So, um, I, I can I can't imagine a year from now, right? Two years from now, because I know he's not going to quit. He's not going to give up. He's not, 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 not Brian. He's going to figure it out and he's going to trade it until, until he gets it. All right. Until he gets it. 
So imagine, imagine that, right? Imagine where he's going to be. So thanks, Brian. Thanks. So that's the goal. We'll end here. We'll end here. I mean, nice story to end to end on. All right. So those of you, those of you who don't trade, Mary, you started trading recently, trading small. Just know that you, you know, you guys stay with it, right? There's growth. There's growth available, right? More markets, more, more, more opportunity to do well. All right. But we got to learn the basics first. Right? Hey, David, can, can I ask you a quick question here? Hey, Ranjit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So just a very quick question here. So looking into that 60-minute chart on the left, so when it break out, right, that green uh, moving average, then it uh, hit the first resistance then it went down right and uh, hit that uh, green moving average as the support so how do you think like uh, we don't have to get out of that uh, so how, how do you draw that support and how do we know that we don't need to get out of this trade at that oh. moment when it's falling down well, okay yeah hey brian you want to answer that he's asking how do we know um if we shouldn't just get out of the trade is that what you're asking Ranger? yeah yeah correct if, yeah if you if you move your cursor a little down a little more down more more yeah over there correct so it's going down right it was keep going down down and but like it eventually then picked up uh, so it's it's taking that uh, green whatever 30 or 60 moving day average as a support so was that the concept of that is the support and if it breaks then we have to get out i think you're saying because david at, on that pullback right there the support and resistance may not have been drawn in because i think the support and resistance may have been drawn in on the once it pulled back once it marked back up maybe that support and resistance wasn't there on that pullback is okay. what he's saying and if and if he see that pullback how does he know to get out or stay in <clears throat> Oh, okay. Okay. So go ahead, Brian. Well, for for me, it depends on where I got in at. So let's say if I got in right at the signal, when the signal came in and I got in at that point, well, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to manage my trade. I'm going to have a stop loss. Okay. I'm going to place my stop loss uh, based on the cap on how my capital looks. You know, based, you know that, that's kind of how I do it. So normally, in some pairs on Forex, like using the four phase of the market, if there's a great setup, I'll put my stock right below that blue circle. Okay, it just depends on the setup. In this case, with this, with this, I had to give myself a little bit more room to let the trade, you know, breathe. I had you got to be prepared to let it go against you. Because the market moves in waves. It does, it's not going to go straight up all the way. Okay? It's not going to do that. So you you know it's going to come back So um, at some point. So if I got in right when that signal came, I would just – I'm not going to get out right there, number one. A, a lot of things going into play there. Um, you know, I could have came out of a, a great um, accumulation phase. Um you know, where I know that, you know, the buy, I can look at the daily and say the buyers have came in. So I can look at the volume of the, the candlestick and say, okay, this trade is moving up, you know, but I know it's going to wave back a little bit. That's just a process. And uh, I got my but, stock but, there. But over, okay. but over there, there is no accumulation, right? It just went up, then, then pulled down, right? Then it went up. So, like, how did you figure out that it's not going to further go down below you know, that uh, green moving average? So, it looks like that green moving average is pivoting as a support. Uh, you, you don't know, right? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. You, just, you just don't right. know. Right. You don't, you don't know. All right. So, um, now, we have the system to guide us. And you, you, know, you notice what Brian said, right? Um, it, it wasn't a great setup. Right. So if it's not a great setup, then you might have to do things a bit differently. All right. You might you might have right. to be, you might have to give it more room. 
not every trade has a has a, a great setup, right? Some trades are, are different than others, right? Um, but what 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 and Brian does, you know, once once you guys get to the point that you we use the system as hey, this is this is the system, this is this is how it's gonna trade. However, however, when you when you've traded the system for a while, there there are some habits that you're going to behavior that you're going to put into your into your system. And Brian does that really, really, really well. Okay. And and the forex market helps us to do that. Exactly that. Trading forex. The what? Yeah. yeah. The what, Gerald? Trading forex helps yes. us learn those habits. Yes. So yes. I got one real quick question. How do you develop your watch list for this system? You don't. There's no watch oh. list. This is it. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, Bill. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Yeah, it's it's only one. It's only the US 30. That's it. That's all. That's that's like like I said, when you guys listen to Ricky, that's all he traded. Now he's he's moved on a bit, but but that's all he traded. The US 30, the US 30, the US 30. It's that it's that big of a deal. It, it's just one. That's it. There's no watch list. What right? It, it's this? not. You know. Well, you know what, David? I'm gonna tell you another, another thing. The VIX. The VIX helps you get kind of a yeah oh, an yeah. idea of market sentiment, and also, you know, I, I hate to say this, but you got to be kind of aware of the fundamentals. What I mean by that, because this is this is following the big companies. Like, what are the big companies doing? You know, you got to somewhat listen. But I'm not really paying attention to it. I'm watching price action. That's really what I'm watching. But at the same time, I got my ear listening to the to the fundamentals. Okay, uh, you know, when the, and, and when the system give a signal. You know, you have to um, with the US thirty for me. You have to take a breath and just kind of look. And I think with this, what David pointed out most important about this system and, you know, trading on 240 minute is you need to let the buyers come completely in. Like you need to let one daily candlestick close and then maybe two uh, before you move uh, in this market because it moves so fast. And so, so you, you just, the system. I mean, this is just, the only game in town. This is the only trade you got available <laughs> right here. You're going either long or short on a shorter or the longer time frame. That's those are your choices, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you could you could trade it on a you could trade it on a shorter time frame, but that's extremely dangerous. I mean, Ricky does it, but I don't. Um, you know, I don't. That's too fast. Yep. No, like you wouldn't be you 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 would you literally have to be sitting in front of the computer to do that. That's why he said he only trades for like 10, 15 minutes a day. I get it now. I didn't understand it then, <laughs> but I get it now. Because of one, if he's trading fifteen minutes or 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 or, or, or five minutes sometimes, like he does, one bar can get him what he's looking for that day. I don't know what his life size is, but one bar can get him what he's looking for that day. If he's, and he's he's there for 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, he he was trading. And he's successful, he's successful with his strategy. Me, I'm not ready for that yet. I, I can manage the 240 and the 60 in the day. I can manage that a lot better based on my time to, you know, be attentive to this thing. You know, I'm not a full timer. So... You have to find a time frame that fits you. But it, this is it. This is it. But I do trade forex. When I get it, you know, David sends out those uh, 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 pairs that are doing well. I didn't get those inverse dollars because I was dealing with this. But, but for the most part, I was in this and I was in USD CNH up until today. I got out today mm. with a profit. Those are the two trades that I were in. Um, but it, so it, uh, Brian, 
Yeah, Brian will get to the point where this will be his main, he'll do his main trading here. He'll get to a point where his main trading will be here. And then his Forex will be just his secondary market. Yeah, he'll get to the point right. where- Because I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like Forex, man, because you have a lot of opportunities to make a lot of money over there. I like it, you know. And so if this thing on the 240, you got to wait. So I've been waiting. I've been, if you go back and count those daily strips in that consolidation now, I've been waiting for, what is this? I've been waiting for, um, uh, what is this? So from the. Almost yep, a week and a half, October, two weeks. Yeah, third of October up until the twentieth. I've been waiting for this thing to turn. So, so I'm going to be trading four X until this thing, you know, gives me the opportunity to get in. You know, I'm not just not doing anything else. I'm trading four X because four X got all those pairs over there, and David is basically giving you the pairs to get in. So, you know. I take those trades. I look at the setup, see what the setup looks like in those forex pairs. GB, what is it? GBP, JPY, those. That was that's a good setup over there. Uh, I'm waiting on that one to 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 break a resistance there. It's got going on. It's, that's a pretty good setup. GBP, JPY, you guys. Um, so you know, and I'm waiting on the rotation for the for the for the pairs. And you know, because you I'm notice won't be in this trade too much longer. And you notice he's not rushing. Uh, you can't rush. <laughs> you can't rush um the US 30. You can't rush it. Right. Yeah, you're gonna you'll get burned. You can you you can, just gotta you have to can wait. Can you be too late though? Can you be too late on the US 30? Mm. You can. Yes, you yeah. I, well, you 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 have to get in like I got in. Okay, I, I, that was too late. But I ain't gonna say it was too late, but for me that was late. Because I should have got in Friday when I saw the blue signal. I just said, man, I ain't going to get anything on Friday. <laughs> you know, I, I'm going to wait till Monday. Because, again, here again, there was, it was white consolidation candles on the daily. And I was like, man, there's no way I'm going to get in this thing. It gave the 240 signal right before the end of the day, maybe about 3, 30, 4 o'clock. And I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, so I just decided to wait until Monday, wait till a daily full green close. And I waited for an opportunity to get in, which to me is too late, but I took the, I took the opportunity and, and it was a success. But it sounds like it goes um, with your strategy and how you trade, because that sounds like an exception to the rule. In other words, had that trade, that blue, a buy signal came in on a Wednesday, Thursday, and not the Friday, you would have taken it. However, because you don't take, you don't like to take trade with that Friday break, that's the exception to the rule. So that's actually a strategy that is good that you had to learn throughout your history of trading, the experience of trading. Otherwise, taking that trade in on the Friday could have ended up burning you, but it, you know, you had to wait. So I don't look at that as being late more so that's your strategy. And you know, for that reason, you was late. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but the same thing, Gerald, you're doing this pretty much the same thing over here that you're doing over, over there with 4X. Like, I was waiting on it to break resistance, okay, before I entered, all right? I got in a little early. I, didn't, I wasn't patient. So I had to go through some consolidation and I had to go through some drawdown. If you look at that 60 minute right there, I had to go through that drawdown before that one long big bar came in there. Go up, go up a little bit, David. Go up a little bit. Right there. All that consolidation there and then that drawdown right there. I had to go, I had to go through that. So that drawdown, that little bit of drawdown was like four or five hundred bucks. Okay. That took me into the negative. I think it got to like two, three hundred bucks, I think. That's so in the course one day, right? Huh? Yeah, that, that, that was in the course of one day. Yeah, it's a six to minute, six minute. Uh, time frame. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. understand, Brian, guys, Brian is trading small because he's still figuring it out. 
that drawdown when he really gets going, right? That drawdown here might be two thousand. So that's why yes. he's cautious. Yes. Right. If he when he really gets going, this drawdown here might be ten. This little drawdown here might be ten thousand. It moves yes. that fast. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's why he's like really. He wants to make certain that it's 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 breaking resistance. Right. It's not going to fail. Right, it's breaking resistance. Right. Buyers are buyers are solidly coming in. All right, um, because um, a, a, a draw, a, a, just a, a a pullback, right, makes a big, 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 big difference. Okay, M makes a big difference. Right, if you guys listen to Ricky's trade, he was down. Ricky was down how much? Fifty grand, fifty, sixty grand. Yeah right in drawdown yeah. right and he had to hold that trade and finally it, it it reversed and went in the his direction and that's how he made his you know he held it held it held it but he was in a drawdown not 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 50 grand he was probably what i think 20 20 30 grand he was in a drawdown all right so and i'm glad brian is doing that he's being patient and not just taking the signals because you you just have to be this is a serious market. This is a very serious market with a well, lot of patient is just waiting a matter of days, not weeks and months, right? It depends. Uh, yeah, yeah. On that time frame, like yeah. on the two forty time frame, you're gonna have to wait some days. Yeah. Um, if it, if it like in that consolidation, like it came out of a, a, a sale. And it went right into accumulation. So, like I said, I had to wait. I had to wait from um, the third of October all the way up till the twentieth of October before I was able to even look. Before I even looked at the trade. Right. So, yeah, it takes oh, it takes some days. Brian, what what is your uh, trading schedule like? How many hours do you spend per day? To uh watch this trade man look i watch it all day like i said i watch it i got i got any desk and so if i'm not at home i'm looking at it on my phone every now and then i come back by the computer look at it you know it's and it's off and on all day because i you know i work from home a lot so pretty much off and on all day but i have other stuff i have to do yeah. yeah, I mean, so, so it's more likely like a day trader, right? You have been watching it all day. So, are are you like, no, is there, no, like, no. Are, are you a full time trader or you you work something? Yeah, yeah, I work part time. I'm part time trader. Okay, now, okay, so I consider myself a part time trader. I'm okay, not so let me let me un, let me okay let me clarify. Okay, okay. Now this system here is not for everyone. We don't have a lot of traders trading this system. All right. This is a very advanced system and a very advanced market. Okay. So because, because it's a very advanced system and a very advanced market, when you in it, so if Brian takes a trade in it, yes, he needs to stay at it. But once he's out of the trade and he's going, he's trading 4X, then, then yeah, he doesn't spend a lot of time. But once he's in the trade, it moves so so violently, let's say. Forget volatile. It moves so violently. All right. He has to monitor it. Okay. So he, he can log into his system at any desk. So if he's out and about, he can log into his system and watch his trade on, on his phone. Okay. So when he's trading this, he's in the trade now, right? Yeah. He, he can't just leave it alone. He has to pay attention to it. He has to watch it because it's a big trade. And, and, and let's say, for instance, you know, he's trading small lots right now, but let's say he gets to a point where he's, he's putting a $5,000 trade, a $10,000 trade. Is it worth it? If he's got a $10,000 trade on here and he's looking to get that $10,000 trade to $100,000. You betcha it's worth it. Is it worth it to watch it? 
every hour on the hour, every minute on the on, so that so that you make sure that your capital is protected. Absolutely. Is he going to do that every day, every week, every month of the year? Absolutely not. But when he catches a trend, he, you notice he waited and waited and waited. And that's what we do as traders. We have to wait for the right setup, get in. All right. So, no, he's not going to do that. He would get burned out if he did this every day, yeah. day in, every, you know. But once he catches a trade, right, guess what? Then, especially with this system, especially with this system, he has to manage it, watch it. Okay, and his goal is the habits that he's building. This is what's important, guys. The habits, you know, you notice he's trading small amounts, but he's going through that same process. Gerald noticed that, right? He, he's, he's not okay with taking trades on Fridays. Guess what? He didn't take a trade on Friday. He waited. He waited for those, for those buyers to give more and more confirmation. So the habits that he's, that's why I love Brian, right? I love a, a lot of the traders that we have. And boy, they don't come on here enough. Peter, you know, all of our good traders, they, they have, they're very, very disciplined. Very, very disciplined. So these habits that he's doing on this, on, on, on these smaller lots, smaller amounts, right? When he increased that amount, to 5,000 a trade, 10,000 a trade, right? Um, you guys heard of Ty, Ty Lack is doing the same thing, right? Those habits, right? Those will transfer over very easily when he starts start trading 10,000, 10, right? 20,000, 30,000. Let's say he put, you know, 50,000 on a trade. If he gets to the point right, where he puts 50 grand on a trade like this and turns that 50 grand to 250 grand, 300 grand, right? That's very, very possible. Very, very possible. Is it worth it to, 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 to just be with it? I, I wouldn't just let it, right? I would, I would manage it, okay? So that's the goal. That's the goal. That's why we follow this process. Right. And, you know, Brian has taken it to a whole nother level. You, you hear him talk about he doesn't just talk about the four market phases. Right. You hear him talk about A and C and B. He, go, he goes he, he goes a lot further than than I go because I stay to the basics. OK, but he's 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 he does a lot of work. Right. That 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 we don't see. OK, but I just want you guys. I'm glad Brian came on. Because I want you guys to see this is next level stuff. This is next level trading. But this is where the real money, right? Forex has nothing on this. Forex is great. You guys can do well. But you start trading here, it can really change your life. It's life changing. Okay? So, Gerald... I, I, I think you should be getting ready. Right? Yeah, you know what, David? I, I am listening to everything you guys are saying. And this is fascinating because one of the trades that I am in right now, I'm actually in a, 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 a trade that I'm trading the U.S. dollar. And I know you're probably like, well, we're not trading the U.S. dollar. We're not. I'm actually shorting the dollar. And, you know, being in a monster trading family, we don't short a lot of Forex pairs. We just don't short a lot of Forex. Mm -hmm. And we certainly don't touch shorting the U.S. dollar of all the pairs. We don't touch the U.S. dollar for a reason. It moves way too fast to be trying to short the U.S. dollar. Yep. So I know, I know I'm not ready for this system just yet because this system is fascinating from what I'm picking up. So I'm going to keep trading a full X, but I'm, I'm really looking at this right here as a wow because, because, I, because I'm trading the, the – because I'm actually trading – the i'm doing a short right now on a usd is telling me that i'm looking for more of a challenge from the forex market otherwise yeah, i agree with I that can, i, I, I really take, agree with i can take thing. loans all day long that's not a problem but i'm looking for experience i'm looking for challenges that i can learn and grow so i know i'm not ready for this us 30 i'm way way not ready for that yet but it's fascinating to hear what i'm hearing yeah bill you were going to say something 
No, I was just agreeing with Gerald. I, I feel like sometimes, um, you know, we're in a 4X and it, it's all good. When it moves and it's moving right along, it's exciting and it's good. But, but sometimes, and I heard somebody say it just a couple, uh, maybe a week or two ago, he says, yeah, I got out of it. I just got tired of it doing nothing. And uh, um, it, and I, I understand that. No, I like this. I think Christmas is coming. <laughs> now, um, so Gerald, good yes, point. Sir. Okay, yes, so so this is how I do things. And it's all, it's done on purpose. I put everyone on the longs. So when we trade all long, and what 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 I what I try to do is I leave it up to the trader to you guys when you're ready to go short. Listen, long is easy. Once you figure long, then you can go short. But you have to be ready to go short because it's a lot harder. They move a lot faster, right? Just like here, when you learn how to short really, really well, right? Brian, <laughs> Brian, got, I don't even know if Brian goes long anymore. Brian used to short the heck. I can't say hell, but the heck of the four X. And, and that gave him a lot of practice on being ready for this. So you're absolutely right, right? Yeah. yeah. Going uh, short yeah. is going to give you a lot more volatility, a lot more practice, but you only you will know when you're ready. All exactly, right. To do that. Exactly. And I got into USD DKK just, below, just, just a few ticks below that sell short signal and i've been in it uh for the last what a day or so mm -hmm. and um it's moved real well on me I, my, my p l is off the charts but you know typically like i said i don't usually short the us we don't usually short the usd not in this family but mm -hmm. we 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 will short other pairs but I, i'm just ready for that uptick in experience and so i, I appreciate everything i'm hearing so, so absolutely yeah so just keep it in mind Okay, US 30. Okay, um, you know, get in touch with Bri. Bri is, is usually helpful, but you guys, you're going to have to do the work. So do the work where you are now. Just do the work where you are now, right, with Monster Scalper, and just know that down the road, right, Brian, Brian was, you know, he went back and forth. He went back and forth. And I'm so happy he did it. I'm so happy. I'm so, so freaking happy he's trading this because I, I, I'm just, I, 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 I'm just happy. I'm happy because I know he's going to do well. All right. So anything else? Because I'm done. <laughs> thanks, Brian. Good stuff, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Brian. Thanks. Hey, you're thanks, welcome, buddy. man. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. All right. Um, guys, All right. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we'll go over uh, stocks um stocks options and uh, etfs tomorrow okay all right thanks guys take care good job good job brian pro so proud extra, of you spend extra time with us thanks thanks take care bye no problem no problem guys bye